Good morning, everyone. Good evening as well. Welcome to the Soul Camp Demo Day of Batch 6. I'm Rachel Jacob, Program Director at Cello Camp and Upright, and here with me on screen are my co-hosts for today. Uh, Matt Kenny, who recently joined the team as Program Manager, he'll be emceeing today's event. And we also have Alon Chavit, Co-Founder and Director at Upright. And we're very excited. I think we lost Renee. Um, we have Renee Reinsberg, Co-Founder at Cello and President at the Cello Foundation. Hey, Renee. Um, welcome. And uh, Thank you everyone for joining us today. Demo Day is always a great day for us where the entire community can come together to support the growth and accomplishments of new founders and builders in the ecosystem. And for those who are new to Cello, Cello Camp is an eight week virtual accelerator and mentorship program for the Cello ecosystem. And over the last two years, we've seen a considerable focus from our alumni on building impactful solutions on Cello to solve real world problems that can lead to sustainable, systemic, and positive changes. So today you'll get a glimpse into some of these projects. You'll be hearing from 12 camp teams working on dApps, protocols, and DAOs in areas across refi, DeFi, payments, DeSci, the creator's economy, and impact. I'd also like to give a big shout out to all 30 camp participants who hail from 40, 14 countries around the world. They've all taken tremendous strides throughout our eight week program, have shown vision, ingenuity, ingenuity and contribution towards the vision of creating a better economic system and one that works in tandem with the regeneration of natural resources, communities and economies. So since today is the community demo day, I'd like to welcome our community Please introduce yourselves in the chat. I see the chat is already uh, going quite nicely. Let us know where you're calling in from, uh, what kinds of projects you're working on and are interested in. You'll also have a little part to play throughout the event. Of course, aside from showing your support for teams in the chat, stick around for voting towards the end of the show. The community makes up 25% of the vote to determine the winners of Cello Camp. And the polls will remain open for two hours following the event. And you'll see the polls tab at the bottom. Um, and that will, again, uh, be open at the end of the event. And on that note, thank you for joining us today. I'll be uh, with you all in the chat throughout the event. And we'll be coming back on to say goodbye at the end of the show. And without further ado, I'd like to hand it over to Renee. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, welcome, everyone, to Saddle Camp Batch 6. Wow. Um, I think. At some point, we'll go back and we'll look at um, each of each of these, and you know, really through through all weathers, uh, through all markets, um, cell camp uh, projects keep on building. I'm really excited for for today to see uh, this batch and, and sort of the finalists. Um, yeah, I think to me, um, regardless of the market environment, this has always been. Um, you know, a, a constant, um, really seeing uh, a bunch of teams coming together, creating applications for real-world impact. Um, that's really what we're all about at Cello. And yeah, I think the quality in this batch uh, has been extremely high. I was fortunate to kind of see some of the teams and, and see some of the, the projects already and um, I'm really excited for, for today. Um, I think we're going, as an industry, we're going through probably um, you know, our most difficult time yet. And despite the fact that the technology has come really quite a bit further, um, to me, it's still shocking um, to see how easy it has become to use decentralized finance, uh, use non-custodial non wallets and payments, um, do even complex financial transactions on, on just a simple phone. And um, I think a lot of these achievements really came in the last cycle and were built in the last bear market. Um, we're facing a new setback. I think we have to, uh, as collectively as an ecosystem, um, broader Web3 ecosystem, uh, regain the trust from the people that are um, new to this and that are kind of confused maybe by the actions that have been happening. Now, it's also what I believe the strongest pitch yet for the power of decentralized finance, the power of Web3, the power of regenerative finance. And I think that um, could be the catalyst really for, um, I think, uh, a major change. I think people are realizing that um, to some extent, um, some of the pitfalls or shortfalls 
that we've seen play out uh, point back to problems that we've um, already seen in the existing financial system and the true um, you know, new Web3 applications people are building are, are providing a path out of this crisis and towards a much better future. And so to me, I, watch, I just want to applaud all the builders that are you know, building at this point and try not to get distracted by what's happening in the broader market and um, talk to, talking to users, um, keep shipping iterations on, on their products, on their protocols. Um, I also want to give a big shout out to Matt, Alon, Rachel for uh, once again hosting uh, a phenomenal program. And um, I think to me, the, the advice to teams that went through the programs and were new to the community is to really leverage the connections, the relationships um, here to, um, you know, be part of this community very actively. Um, I, I think that is one of the biggest gifts of this program um, is to be connected to, to like-minded builders, to folks who, who have the same North Star, who are, um, who are building kind of in the same direction. And um, with that, um, without further ado, I want to, um, yeah, welcome everyone again and um, let's go. I'm excited to see the presentations. Thank you, Rene, for joining us today and uh, your support. Always a pleasure to have you with us. We look forward to continue the growth of this uh, incredible community and support founders entering the Celo ecosystem. From what we are experiencing, the excitement around Web3 innovation haven't withered. We are in a buildish market, as we like to say, uh, which brings opportunities uh, for founders to innovate and bring better solutions to the market. And uh, thank you, Rene, for joining us today and uh, handing it over to Matt to begin the main event. Awesome. Thank you so much, Alon, and welcome, everybody. We're so excited to get started today. I want to give you a brief overview of what to expect for today's event. We have 13 teams who are going to be presenting, 12 from Cello Camp and one from the Startup Pathway. Each team will have three minutes to present. And then also, we want to give a little bit of buffer time for other teams to come up for the next presenter. Also, we really encourage you to ask questions in the chat and to use the ask a question tab at the bottom of your Crowdcast screen. If you have a question for a specific team, please label that team within your question so the correct person can go ahead and answer that question for you. Also, be sure to stick around to the end of the event where the voting will open. Voting will be open for two hours and the community vote is worth 25% of the total voting pool in selecting the winner for this event, the winners for this event. So without further ado, let's get started. And first up, we have Peter from Vault3 calling in from Australia. Everybody, give it up for Peter. Write those emojis in the chat and really show your excitement. This is a celebration for all the hard work teams have been doing throughout these past eight weeks. Hi, I'm Peter Tippett, an award-winning serial tech entrepreneur. And today I'm presenting our community payment rail, Vault3. The banks, big tech and business have been living off our communities for their own benefit. This needs to stop. The first part we need to fix is the pay morale and the black hole of costs and constraints that stops us innovating. Many of you know how much credit card to take and think that is it. But there are others in the money chain that all are taking a cut just to move the money. And that adds up to 10% that we all end up paying for. And it's an absolute mess. We experienced this already in our own yoga business and how much we waste just paying for the right to move the money to pay our teachers and having to be a bank which started us on this journey. And we were told crypto payments would fix us, but we still have the mess. Now, what if at the start of the transaction, we could pay everyone at once without having the business to be a bank and have this open new business models? Now, let me show you this working from what we built during Solo Camp. So here's the student's wallet, and now they're actually going to log into the scan, and they're going to scan the teacher's QR code, who's just bringing up on their copy of their wallet. And what it is, they're going to select the studio option because they're at the studio teaching, where the teacher student's going to pay them 30%. 50% is going to go to the landlord, and the other 55% goes to the studio supply and services. Now it's going to show the receipt on the student's wallet, so they know what they're about to buy instead of a dumb piece of plastic where you just approve something and hope you've got the right figure. Now they're gonna click proceed. 
With this, this now actually talks to the cello chain and starts the payment process of paying the teacher, the studio, and the landlord in this case. And this has been updated in real time, as you can see. This direct payment of the student to the teacher and not through the studio creates the direct connection that we have lost with middlemen. This direct connection gives us the feeling of community and is setting up the real game of a shared model as we have removed the current tension between studio, student and teacher. We're starting this community model in our own yoga businesses and our online yoga platform we built during COVID. Before we take this to the world with hard data for the skeptics, We'll grow this into the $40 billion yoga space. This is really a broken industry, we fully understand. And it's very much a community thinking user base that we'll tap into already. We're a small team, currently with a wide diversity of what we have done in business and community that allows us to be nimble before accelerating forward based on hard data and full funding. Our real end game is more than payments. We're building towards a community centric model that allows communities to have all the functions of Web3. It is more than just money. We'll offer DeFi to DAO to vesting functions as this will create, enable them to be their own country with their own economy and governance. Thank you to the Solo Camp and thank you from Australia. There you are. Thank you. Thank you so much, Peter. Uh, I know it's quite late in your part of the world. So thank you for joining us and your wonderful participation in the program. And I think uh, uh, Vault3 is on a path for uh, unlocking uh, new primitives in uh, payments. And I can see a, a lot of other use cases where uh, paying to multiple parties at the same time can be, can be very uh, beneficial, like a shop, an online sh store that uh, uh, you want to pay for the store and the carrier at the same time. Um, or even an internet provider where you uh, pay the uh, infrastructure and the, the service at the same time. So a wonderful uh, a project and thank you so much for the presentation. Awesome, thank you so much, Peter. My mom's a yoga teacher, so I'm sure she would love to be able to use that. Next up, we have Brett from In Theory calling in from the United States. Everybody throw those reactions in the chat for Brett, give it up. And hey, Brett, how are you doing? Hello, how's it going? Great to be here. Uh, hi, yes, so my name is Brett Kornick and I am presenting In Theory, where we are advancing science using generative art. Uh, so scientists today are grappling with a few really big problems, one of which is a $16 trillion global science funding gap. Um, that's an unfathomable number and researchers can spend up to 50% of their time looking for new funding sources. Um, on top of that, very few options exist for non-scientists to support science in an engaging and transparent way. And the unfunded rate for scientists is even higher for underrepresented groups or early career researchers. So to address these problems, we're building In Theory, which is a Web3 platform where users can fund, track, and learn more about science by collecting generative art. Um, the premise is simple. You collect art to fund science. Uh, we want to provide everyday people with an easy access point to discover, create, shape, and own the future of human scientific innovation. And we really want to build a foundation for the creator economy for scientists. So how would this work? Well, a user will browse through research projects on our platform and select the ones that they would like to support. Uh, then they'll mint a completely unique project-inspired generative artwork as an NFT, where the fees for minting go directly to support the researcher. NFT holders can then access project updates and researcher communications for the duration of the project before the work is publicly released. So now a quick demo of what we built during Cello Camp, which is our application to launch our pre-launch NFTs. Um, this provides a sneak peek at what supporting research projects might look like after we launch. Um, in this app, users are able to select science topics of interest and use that selection to create a unique piece of generative art. So here we select nanotechnology, artificial intelligence, and robotics, generate image. Oh, sorry, I guess the video restarted. Let me pop back here. Uh, so nanotechnology, artificial intelligence, and robotics, generate image. And boom, okay, I love it. Let's mint that as an NFT. Now, when I mint this as an NFT, my research interests are stored as metadata and that is immutably linked to that artwork. And that metadata helps us at In Theory to decide the first cohort of projects that the platform will fund. So after a quick waiting screen, boom, 
Uh, my artwork is now an NFT on Cello. I can explore the metadata and I can see my research topics of interest linked there in the metadata, which like I said, will help us decide the first projects that we fund when our platform does launch. So I encourage anyone to scan and follow along. We even cover the gas fees. So even if you have no balance on Cello, you can mint your own NFT. So this adds tremendous value to researchers and creates an entirely new opportunity for our users. Um, researchers can secure new funding and exposure for their work with very little additional effort. And users can interact with the scientific frontier in a digestible and engaging way, while also gaining first access to the latest research data and project updates, which is a potentially huge source of market alpha. And so the result is a sustainable business model where we use AI to generate not just images, but also meaningful cash flow towards community driven research. And we want to take much of the proceeds that we make um, as a platform and reinvest those into students in the form of scholarships and fellowships. Uh, and this is just the start for in theory um, and really builds the foundation for DSI on Cello. Um, so we are the team building it. Um, our company is called Impact Finance, um, and we have experience in academia, app development, blockchain implementation, and AI. And so I'll leave you here with this meme. Researchers today account for just 0.1% of the global population, but imagine what the world would look, would look like if we could all support science in a meaningful and engaging way. Thank you. Love it, Brett. Thank you so much. And what a great uh, message to uh, end the presentation with. And I think uh, DSI has definitely a big a place in the Cello community. A lot of the uh, projects uh, on ReFi are based on scientific research. And I think, uh, um, in theory, can definitely um, be a platform for having those discussions and uh, support those uh, projects based on community interest. So thank you for uh, this great pitch. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Brett, for pushing the conversation forward with DSI. Next up, we have Kyle from Carbon Path, who's going to be giving our next presentation. Everybody throw those emoticons into the chat. Bring our support up for Kyle and for Brett and for Peter and for all the teams who are going to be presenting today. And here we got Kyle with us. Hey, Kyle, how's it going? Hey there. Hi, everybody. Um, yeah, great start there, Peter and Brett. Um, fantastic work. Hi there. I'm Kyle, one of the co-founders here at Carbon Path. Uh, Carbon Path is here to create an immediate impact by permanently shutting down oil and gas wells and preventing greenhouse gas emissions from ever entering the atmosphere. The problem is beyond comprehension. In the U.S., there are 2.75 million wells that only contribute 5% of the oil and gas fees every day. According to the EPA, these wells will leak 2.1 billion tons of CO2 and 20 million tons of methane over their lifetimes. And to date, there is no regulation or incentive to shut them down. The impact is massive. We would need nearly two continents of additional forests to offset these emissions. So we have to stop emissions at the source. Along with nature-based solutions, industrial prevention has to be a part of the climate change playbook. Our solution is fairly simple. We incentivize keeping the resource on the ground and shut down a well. We validate the entire process because every well is unique. We tokenize the locked away resource and the result, a token that offers a high quality prevention credit at scale. One token equals one ton. So here's our map centric registry we've been building during Cello Camp. It hosts all of the digital measurement, reporting and verification data for each well. Now let's take a look at one of our pilot wells, the Clyde Alma here. We use geotagged and timestamp drone data as one method of verification. We have video, obliques, orthos. Here's a panorama of the well site and we'll have another one once the pad is reclaimed. Now we see all of the critical data that's directly on the Cello blockchain. We also store documents from regulatory agencies, labs, third-party auditors, also on block via Pinata. We've made it very easy to move through the drone data quickly to view pre and post well shutdown. So once the well has been fully verified and the well NFT has been created, ERC-20 tokens are issued. So let's buy ourselves a CPCO2 token. So this transaction is all happening on the Cello blockchain. And once completed, you will, you will receive a confirmation receipt that you can view and save. Now, let's complete the cycle and retire this ton of carbon away forever. You'll also get a receipt for retirement and you can immediately view the impact you've just made. There's a variety of metrics here to view and you can see how much impact there is from just six tokens here. We have other well data shown, including our permits polygon that is stored on chain and built in partnership with the Astral Protocol. We've been collaborating with other great projects you'll hear today along with Upright to make this happen. 
We're continuing to develop other features based on user feedback and really look forward to showing you all more soon. So over the past two weeks, we have validated the permanent shutting down of two wells in Montana as part of our pilot project and the surface is currently being reclaimed. So these wells would still be actively producing and leaking methane today if it weren't for the carbon pass solution. We've set lofty goals for ourselves to complete 100 wells in 2023. So also watch for a link on the Cello forum where we will be publishing our methodology soon and we'd love to hear your feedback. We are a group of industry experts linked by our passion to make positive climate impact. We are collaborating with individuals in seven countries and plan to expand our team in 2023. We've already started forming partnerships with folks like Spirals and FlyWallet and support from our refi community. Token buyers and investors will get us there. Together, we can all make huge impact. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much, Kyle. Awesome job there. And bringing high quality carbon uh, offset uh, tokens on chain is uh, very, very important for the mission uh, of Cell and the entire uh, community. And I think uh, Carbon Path is uh, on the way to do just that. So uh, thank you uh, so much. And uh, guys, both, do yeah. continue the uh, conversation over the Cello forum. And uh, I just shared the link there. And uh, thank you so much, Kyle, and the Carbon Pass Thanks. team. Awesome. Thank you so much, Kyle, and the Carbon Pass team for presenting. So next up, we have Jose from Color calling from Chile. Everybody give it up for Jose from Color. Hi, everyone. I'm Jose, I'm the CEO of Color. Color, we're opening access to conservation. So Color is based in Chile, South America, where half of the Chilean Patagonia is on sale, being deforested one acre per minute. I don't know if you know this, but uh, Patagonia is a massive a CO2 absorption sink that converts three times more CO2 than the Amazon. So it's not only one of the most beautiful places in the world, but also one of the most efficient landscapes. So how we solve this problem of the deforestation? We're creating a global access platform for conservation. So everywhere, everyone everywhere can have access to conserve buying a piece of land in Patagonia. So we're starting at 3,500 per acre. Uh, we're making an NFT token that has an LLC inside and that owns the land title of the land. What is our problem? Serve at least for 30 years, uh, you are working with the probably most trustable country in South America, jurisdiction, and you're gonna get a future passive income through the carbon credits. So let's imagine for a second that we are building together the largest collective park in the world, um, where Color is doing that, and we're not far from that. Like already we have twice of the size of Manhattan under management. And in two years, we would have the size of the island of Maui in Hawaii. And by 2030, the same rate, maybe the size of Puerto Rico. So Boston Consulting Group is saying that by 2030, six trillions are gonna be a new asset class. So as well in the carbon market, it's gonna be a trillion uh, according with Morgan Stanley. So what role we wanna play here? We want to be the quality suppliers. We're not verifying, we're not a carbon marketplace. We are providing the best quality land for all our the other partners in the ecosystem. So why do we believe that we can make it? Uh, we have been working for the last two years in South America, uh, working in ESG projects. Uh, the team is, is uh, by people from Google, HSBC Bank, and also we have as advisor, one of the founders of the most prestigious carbon credit uh, projects in Indonesia. Let me give a live demo presentation right now about what is what was our traction in the in the cello camp uh, we finished our d app that is here and we also create an awesome traction like we start offering since last week 69 on-chain verified acres and we have we had an amazing traction so far like 80 percent of those are already sold at a rate of one acre per minute so basically, this is the app. You select how many acres you want. You click buy. And then, as I said before, remember when I mentioned that the deforestation rate was an acre 
per minute. Okay, then you have your token. So go to your dashboard. This is your investment. So remember when, you're, when I was mentioned about the deforestation was an, an acre per minute? Right. Not right now, we're doing conservation one acre per hour. So we still have to close that gap. So um, how? With color. Offering to everyone, everywhere, access to conservation. So thank you so much. Thank you, Jose, for this wonderful uh, presentation and uh, another uh, project that uh, aims to bring very high quality um, uh, carbon offset tokens uh, on chain. And um, thank you so much for uh, the, uh, the live demo also. And uh, I think that a lot of people uh, know about the Amazon, but uh, Color is putting also Patagonia uh, on the map of uh, um, uh, for, for carbon offsetting and um, you are on an awesome uh, mission. So thank you so much for the demonstration. Next up, we have Farouk from Neutral Protocol. Everybody give it up from Farouk and make sure to ask questions in the chat and to throw those emoticons into the, into the chat so we can celebrate all the teams that are coming up today. All right. Hi, everyone. I'm Farouk. I'm the co-founder of Neutral. And our mission at Neutral is to accelerate the growth of carbon markets. And we're building the derivatives hub for the refi ecosystem, allowing users to trade carbon futures, options, and execute strategies. So prior to Neutral, my co-founder and I were working on um, derivative protocols with more traditional crypto assets but we wanted to work in sustainability full-time. So we saw a lot of potential in carbon markets and a lot of momentum behind the tokenization of carbon credits, but we didn't see anyone building out the instruments around those credits that would allow institutional capital to flow into the market. So in the absence of these instruments, you have a few limitations. So um, your ability to manage risk is quite limited to earn yield on these um, tokenized carbon assets and to execute an offsetting schedule in an efficient way. So our platform addresses um, these limitations in carbon markets by allowing users to hedge carbon market exposure, um, to secure prices for offsetting schedules and to conduct investment analysis and to generally express market sentiment. Our first release will be Perpetual Futures, and I'll walk through a demo of what that looks like. So here you can see the dashboards where you can see all the trading stats. Um, you can add liquidity to the counterparty pool here. We'll walk through what that looks like. And then once you've added liquidity, you can also trade. So here you can open up a long, short, a position or swap between the different assets in the pool. If you do want to open up a long position, you have to set the amount of collateral and the amount of leverage. And you can set different parameters there. Once you do open up the position, it will show up in the bottom left. So there you can see all of the trades. And then you can see any positions that you have open there and you can go through and edit them if you want to add or remove collateral. Perfect. All right, thanks a lot. Um, we should have a testnet launch soon. Please follow us on Twitter, Discord, or, uh, or LinkedIn um, to keep track with the testnet launch and future releases. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. And bringing uh, DeFi into the regenerative finance world. And I think curation is very, very important uh, for, uh, for carbon um, uh, pools and the ability to have financial instruments and to signal uh, around uh, projects um brings uh, stability um uh, to to pools and to uh, projects so i think neutral protocol can definitely play a very big uh, role 
in the Celo uh, ecosystem. So uh, thank you so much, Farouk, for uh, the uh, pitch and demonstration. Thanks a lot. Next up, we have Areddy calling in from the UK with Save by Alice. Again, let's see those emojis. Let's see those support for teams in the chat as we welcome Areddy to the screen. Hey, how are you? Hello, guys. You can see me, right? Yes. So my name is Areddy, and I'm one of the creators of the project Save, which is a reward system as a way to push financially vulnerable people out of poverty. And let's see how it all started. Um, the SAVE project started as a collaboration between Alice, our company, and Resonance, our, our client. Uh, Alice analyzes impact data on a decentralized infrastructure and has raised one million pounds so far. Our customer, Resonance, is an investment fund, and they've got 320 million pounds under management. And what they do is they purchase properties in the UK and they house homeless people and victims of domestic abuse. Now, Resonance's um, hypothesis um, is that those tenants, because they put, you know, the homeless people, they put a roof on their heads, they're going to be able to stand on their own two feet and become financially independent. But after gathering data for years, they've seen that they really struggle to do so. So their hypothesis is that if their tenants get rewarded for every step they take in their journey out of poverty, they will move on to independent homes a lot faster and become financially independent a lot faster. So to validate this hypothesis, Alice built on Celo a smart contract infrastructure that essentially sends financial rewards uh, to the tenants' Celo wallets every time they complete a goal in their journey out of poverty. And let's look at how it all works on our demo. This is a place where resonance can put together different goals with their company reward, financial reward per goal. So if, for example, a tenant finds employment, they get 30 pounds or 30 cello. Um, in this case, if we open the, the cello wallet of that particular tenant, we see that they have 26 cello here. We copy paste the wallet address in the beneficiaries list. And for the purpose of the demo, we tick, we signal the completion of the goal with a tick. And as you see here, once this happens, then money comes out of the seller of the resonance uh, seller wallet into, as you see here, um, uh, the tenant's wallet. And um, this is the tenant's wallet address. And going back to the seller wallet, then you see that it moved up from 26 seller to 27. Um, and so let's look at the benefits of this implementation moving forward. Um, first, from the data perspective, and secondly, from the reason for which we use Cello and what it enables us to do. Um, uh, we Gathering all this data from these transactions, we then correlate it with the data that we get from Resonance every time a new beneficiary is enrolled into the program. So we gather all this data and we hold it on a decentralized infrastructure on uh, our way. What we achieve with that, because it's decentralized, is to give to the public and to the investors the untampered truth of these people's journey out of poverty. And we also see what works and what doesn't work uh, in social programs. So we can build on the base of this data social programs that actually are successful in the future. The second thing in relation to our choice of uh, Celo as a blockchain is that starting with the resonance project and then scaling it upwards to uh, any social project of any size, Celo, the Celo blockchain, allows us to fully decentralize the distribution of wealth. That's one thing. And the second thing is that with their almost zero fees basis, we're able to truly um, uh, enable prosperity for everyone, for any social project, for any beneficiary. Thank you very much. Really, really innovative and novel uh, solution in the uh, impact space. And um, uh, thank you so much for uh, this very, very clear and wonderful uh, demo. So um, uh, give, give it up for Save by Alice in the chat. Thank you, guys. Awesome. Thank you so much. So Bye, we are going to cross the pond from the UK and come back to Butian from Blocklist. So Blocklist presents Celo Refi First Party Oracle. Well, 
blockchain is this perfect technology to bring transparency and decentralized ownership into refi. But there are a couple of critical roadblocks before we start. Blockchain, it doesn't know any data outside of its ledger. While third-party oracles, they don't support customized data feeds. And running data analytics on-chain is extremely costly and slow. So what if I tell you that anyone can launch their own first-party oracle on Celo with a few lines of code? Using blockless serverless functions, um, you can easily bring any real-world data on-chain and perform crazy analytics gasless through our verifiable off-chain execution. Use cases that we've seen quite widely around the um, space are carbon credit um, offering, weather data monitoring, insurance data, and many more. So Blockless really re revolutionized how people build decentralized applications, saving cost, effort, and accelerating the speed to market. You're expecting zero node infrastructure maintenance efforts and 99% saving of development costs and time. And you can also um, code in your favorite language. We currently support Rust, Go, and more. And ZK Wasm allows any user to generate a ZK proof for any off-chain executions. So time to show um, how the blockless platform works. Here you see that um, we are um, deploying uh, using the Oracle module uh, that provided by Blockless through the terminal, you can initiate the function and then give it a name and then select the Oracle as the uh, template. And then um, from there, you can easily um, download all the required modules uh, for your Oracle um, product. And here, um, a couple of places where you, you can customize, say, number of nodes, the consensus mechanism you would require for your Oracle, and then the data source. And after that, you can um, easily deploy through also command line interface. Here we go. Yeah, this is what's been deployed here. Um, it's just a sample UI, but you can see that it's really um, any data that you can bring into the front end to display. And here is the smart contract that's been uh, deployed. And through here, you can see all the trading activities. So the, um, the way that we really automate things and simplify things is providing this, uh, not UI, um, the command line, but also a graphic interface for people to easily um, interact with the uh, smart contract on Celo. Yeah, we are a team of 13 people. Um, I'm currently based in San Francisco. Um, for this uh, Celo camp, we are also offering free credit for users to run any Oracle solutions um, in a limited uh, frame of time. So uh, hit me up if you're interested. Thank you so much. Whoa, what a demo. Butian, thank you so much. Awesome, awesome job. And uh, I, I want to uh, read a comment from the chat from Brett, such an important infrastructure for expanding refi. Can't agree more. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Butian from Blockless, I think that definitely many teams uh, in the refi space and in the cello ecosystem can leverage this infrastructure for bringing um uh, from bringing uh, off-chain data on-chain and uh, writing uh, decentralized functions thank you so much let's bring up Artie calling in from turkey who's going to be representing nomis everybody give it up in the chat for Artie. hi it's Artie from nomis and we are building credit karma for decentralized finance we already backed with grants by Solana, Aave, and MetaCartel DAO, and also won a few prizes on Polygon and one inch hackathons. Uh, we are a team of six people, a uh, strong technical team. Each of us has at least five years of relevant experience, including building HR scoring algorithms, uh, building M1 blockchains, and building products on uh, EVM compatible chains. Uh, we are working with the problem of under collateralized under loans. Basically, uh, we see that uh, the file loans suck in many ways. In particular, the fine loans carry away mainstream borrowers with this over collateralization. Also, borrowers waste a huge amount of time looking for relevant lending offers, and borrowers are unable to leverage their own chain reputation to get better terms in their loans, even if they have a positive on chain reputation. Uh, see, on Web3, we have a lot of sources of uh, data. 
to, to score users based on their day-to-day -day transactions, their DAO contributions, NFT holdings, portfolio, et cetera. And we came up with a solution. Uh, we created the, an algorithm that calculates users' credit scores. Uh, we also provide this data to uh, lending providers and our interface serves as a connector, as an aggregator uh, that helps borrowers to get most relevant offers from the five protocols. So here how it works. Uh, with our NAMES score, you can get uh, better terms, uh, let's say less collateral size, better APR liquidation rate terms for the same amount of loan comparing with the loan without our credit score. Uh, and we work on this uh, market. We, we saw this tremendous opportunity on the market, uh, 560x uh, growth opportunity comparing the centralized finance with traditional finance. And we strongly believe that the centralized finance one day will eat up the traditional finance market. So uh, we are in the right place. Our business model includes taking some percentage fee uh, from the file lenders per customers acquired through NAMIS. And also we charge a small fee from borrowers for minting and updating their credit score. So uh, let's dive into the demo. You can go to nomis.cc slash score. It's live. We support multiple chains. Uh, let's use Sela. We can just put our Sela address here. In a few seconds, we'll see our wallet's dashboard. Uh, we calculate the score in real time, so it takes a few seconds. And here you can see uh, a cool human readable interface to get some insights on the wallet. You can see the balance, wallet turnover, wallet page, et cetera, of course, the Nomis score. And here you can expand and see all the parameters that we use to calculate the credit score. We also have an API. You can find it on Docs page. So any DeFi developer is welcome to implement our solution to their products. Here you can mint your score is NFT. Uh, we click mint, confirm transaction, and uh, our score is updated. I already had the score, so I just updated it. We can go to Explorer and see our score here is ERC 721 token. So here it is. Thank you for your time. Always ready to chat. Drop me a line. Thank you so much, Arty. And another uh, live demo. I love that. I love the user interface, uh, by the way. Uh, awesome, awesome job. And under collateralized uh, lending Thank requires a, a lot of, of infrastructure and tools uh, like uh, Nomis, and I think a lot of uh, projects in the DeFi space can leverage uh, uh, this uh, um, uh, platform. It also includes NFTs uh, that holds the uh, verification data. So uh, awesome job there, Arty. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alan. Appreciate it. Next up, we have Austin from What Class is calling in from the UK. Everybody, give it up for Austin from What Class. Hi, I'm Austin from What Class, where you can learn from your favorite artists. Uh, together with my brother Scott, we were professional DJs, producers, and label owners. We're also published authors with Faber Music and London College of Music Exams, where we wrote the world's first graded DJ exams. Our vision is to transform creative learning and our mission to enable 50 million creators to become paid artists over the next 10 years. We sit right between these two uh, markets of online education and the creator economy. But our goal is to consolidate the market for creative skills learning. So we've already built the proof of concept today in a Web2 platform on Virtuoso. We've gained trust with 50 major artists, including Carl Cox, uh, Luna from Aluna George and Goldie. And we have 10,000 members on the platform today. But along the way, we unearthed a world problem and we believe at the right time. The traditional learning system just isn't designed for today's creatives. Often people are left unsatisfied, in debt and without outcomes. There's a serious uh, lack of funding in creative arts education, despite even the desire of industry to get involved. And creative arts education is actually just out of tune with what young people want to learn and want to listen to. So we wanna build a social token built around the funding and the discovery of creative learning. One of the biggest challenges we encountered over the last two years is to actually know what content will be engaging and at the same time, constantly raise funds to produce content whilst building a subscription platform. On what class, we want the proposals to go live onto the platform and the community to be able to vote and fund on the content that they want to see and learn from. This will be backed by a social token funded by the music industry for creative education projects on chain. 
Courses will initially be produced by us. We are amazing at it. But studios in phase two can bid on projects to enable the hyperscale of content. Once that content is uploaded to the platform, members can subscribe and receive tokens to create liquidity. Members will be rewarded with tokens equivalent to their subscription value and, of course, can earn for contributions such as building curriculum. Thus, we could create revenue for the community and, of course, the artists. And I want to show a demo. We're early stage, but during Seller Camp, we really began to hone in on key problems for learners, for artists in the industry, and managed to design our initial project. Our belief is in creating a local economy that discovers uh, curation and the best content that's most engaging for learners. And we want initial backers to be able to grow with artists and prosper together. Courses, as you can see, can be funded and purchased using Cello dollars and fiat currencies. And we believe this will enable us to cater to new Web3 audiences and build a unique economy within the Cello ecosystem. More advanced features enable learners like my brother here to be able to prove that they've learned and access gated experience such as learning from mentors and live in-person experiences. In collaboration with major artists, we're transforming the way music and creativity is learned. And we now want to build a community for teachers and artists that all can prosper from. We invite you to transform creative learning with us. Thank you. Thank you so much, Austin. And what a wonderful presentation, very sharp. And I uh, can't wait to be able to support uh, DJs and creators from my uh, Valora uh, wallet. And um, I think it's a wonderful project uh, that can also uh, foster the engagement with uh, uh, creators uh, uh, in the digital space and um, uh, really, really love the project. Thank you so much for the uh, presentation. Next up, we have Kyle from South Africa calling in to represent Voller. Well, hey, it's nice to meet you all. My name is Kyle and I'm joined by my co-founder, Liam. We're both passionate social entrepreneurs and we founded Voller because we believe that community development needs an upgrade. From our experience, traditional community programs tend to be very short-lived with low success rates. They lack transparency because they lack digital data. They're incredibly costly and complex to implement. But the worst thing of all that we've seen is that they very often lack the input and ownership of the communities in which they run. Our solution was to create Voller, a platform that turns local volunteering into impactful micro jobs. Through Voller, organizations can create and fund volunteering campaigns. They can then invite people they trust within their network to become champions for their organization and host local volunteering events. And the best part about Voller is everyone that volunteers along with those champions and participates in making their communities better all get rewarded. I'm going to switch to a quick demo that focuses on uh, using Voller from the perspective of a champion. So when a champion logs into Voller, they can see all of the campaigns that they have access to. This would be from the organization that they represent or from that organization's partners. So as a quick example, perhaps the Cello Foundation could create a campaign around reforestation and invite people through their network to become champions and host volunteering events. So when a champion wants to take part in a campaign, they can click on it and read a little bit more information. And ultimately, if they feel that they can do something locally, they can submit an event to the campaign. Once they submit an event, the organization that's hosting the campaign um, and has funded it can then look through these events, take a look at what the champion is looking to do. Our platform automatically calculates a budget for each event to make sure that all the volunteers that participate will get fairly rewarded for their time. If the organization approves, then the champion will see this event in their event list and of course, on the day of the event, we have a check-in system that will automatically open and close, allowing the champion to check in everyone that attends. As I said, the great part about Voller is everyone that participates gets rewarded with real cash. And thanks to the Cello, uh, Cello Camp, we now support Cello USD on our platform. Um, and we've also, as a part of this uh, camp, launched crowdfunding for campaigns. So you can make public campaigns that can be crowdfunded in Cello USD by sending uh, tokens to a wallet. We've seen that people really love this idea because Voller is making it possible to directly involve communities 
It's making it possible to fund outcomes, not programs, to create transparency with data. But most important, it's lowering the cost of impact so that every dollar can go further. As a result of this, we've actually gained the attention of some pretty big names. Most recently, we signed a deal with Unilever and we launched our first pilot with them in Cape Town, South Africa next week. Thank you so much, Kyle. Another live uh, presentation there and an awesome, awesome project. And given the tools for uh, um, impact projects uh, to engage with uh, the champions, uh, I, I love it. And I think uh, um, uh, this project can definitely work together with uh, other projects in the uh, ecosystem and, um, and really, really be meaningful. Uh, so thank you so much uh, for you. that. Next up, we have Erica from Skylink calling in from Spain. Everybody give it up for Erica and show your support in the chat. And also, if this presentations are inspiring you to apply to the next batch of Cello Camp, the link is down at the bottom of your screen. You can go ahead and do that now. Hey, Erica, how are you doing? Hello. Let me introduce myself. I'm Erika Hernandez, and I've been working for Deutsche Telekom for more than 12 years. Our project started in an incubation program within Deutsche Telekom, where we have been selected to develop an MVP for DT. So Deutsche Telekom is our first customer. Our product, Skylink, is an application for low-cost and reliable international money transfers using blockchain. We want to help immigrants. We want to improve their lives. That's our mission and our main target group. So our solution will also allow to send money in cash, even if you don't have a bank account. We have to consider that in many cases, immigrants don't even have an ID. Therefore, they cannot use a bank or any application. So they have to go to a very specialized shop to send the money in cash. How could we improve the lives of these people? If the customer doesn't have a bank account, he will be able to use a prepaid card to send the money. Or if he prefers, he can go to a shop and send the money in cash with one of our partners, like a pharmacy or a supermarket. Our solution will allow to send fiat money, but also cryptocurrencies like Cello. We are already working in close cooperation with the Cello community to integrate Cello partners in our solution. Remittances is a billionaire market exceeding $600 billion per year. So the potential is huge. Regarding our team, we are already six people, myself, Arturo Hernandez, our technical advisor with more than 15 years of experience as technical director, and our developers, Orlando, Edgar, Brian, and Alex, based in El Salvador, the first country in the world adopting a cryptocurrency as national currency. Here, a short demo of our product, which is the design of our MVP developed during the Cello Camp. We are working to develop, to develop to deliver a very simple and easy to use product. All transactions and money transfers will allow us to use fiat or cryptocurrencies like Cello USD, Cello Euro, and other cryptocurrencies. And now, a short video about our mission. Thank you very much again. You have my contact details here and my LinkedIn profile. So feel free to contact us. Thank you. Thank you so much, Erica, for this wonderful presentation and, and great job Thank throughout you, camp. And I think that um, crypto payments in the next adoption uh, cycle um, can definitely go big. 
as uh, the general gas fees in the industry are going and, and getting uh, lower and um, better ramps are uh, being uh, put in place. I can mention a project like Connect the World and Fiat Connect uh, that I'll also uh, share the links to in the, in the chat that uh, are uh, supporting uh, this movement. And I think that uh, Skylink can have a very central role in uh, allowing remittance and uh, simplifying uh, the, the process. And I think finding the sweet uh, spot between uh, security and self-custody uh, uh, while having a, a great uh, user experience is, uh, is a great uh, challenge and a great mission. And uh, I think Skylink is uh, on the, uh, the road for, um, for uh, solving uh, just for that. So thank you so much, Erica. Thank you, Alon. Thank you, hello, team. Bye. And next up, we have Jimo from Sylvie. So, hi, I'm Jimo. I'm the founder of Sylvie. And uh, Sylvie's mission is to support the trillion tree target. Um, as you might know, deforestation is one of the biggest challenges of our time and a huge undertaking to, to reverse. Uh, thankfully, there are some really powerful, strong winds, such as the voluntary carbon markets. Uh, which are a great reflection for ESG growth as a whole uh, and natural capital as well. Uh, so why trees? Well, in the short uh, run, trees are uh, an ideal nature-based solution uh, to sequestering almost half of the atmospheric uh, uh, surplus uh, carbon in our atmosphere. But they're also a great foundational instrument uh, from which to capture a value upside beyond carbon such as biodiversity uh, credits, uh, water credits, air credits, et cetera. But in the really long run, and I think this is where we strongly align with Cello, is that uh, trees are perhaps, uh, they perhaps offer even more utility and scarcity than say gold, and therefore a great uh, reserve uh, currency and system of sorts. Uh, so don't believe us, but uh, check out the latest brief by the White House on this uh, new trend of uh, adding natural capital to America's balance sheet. <clears throat> so we approach this in two main ways. For one, uh, we, how do we drive uh, funding to, to trees, to reforestation? We're doing, we're doing this uh, via Tree Forwards, which is a, 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 an instrument, a financial instrument to both de-risk funding as well as capture its upside. And second, we're, uh, improving uh, the accessibility to MRV, measurement, reporting, and verification, namely to improve traceability as well as help build community around uh, reforestation projects. So we'll, we uh, apply these uh, on the towards the tree life cycle, uh, whereby funding is held in escrow and only released um, as uh, milestones are verifiably met. This is really where blockchain comes in very handy towards the uh, uh, payouts based on uh, settled claims. So we also intend to introduce DeFi primitives um, and long-term bonding structures, uh, ones where the lockup periods align to the time horizon of nature-based solutions. Uh, for now, we're uh, basically a, a, dual govern, a dual token system where the, the, the governance token can only be issued upon the commitment of a tree and then that tree's data lives on a, on a data NFT. Uh, so we've built uh, many features and many are still in development. On the left here, uh, you see the MRV uh, via viewfinder for the claims being made on, on the ground. In the middle, uh, you see uh, 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 tree information cards with where all the data lives, both the metadata as, as well as the on-chain data uh, or claims. And then on the right uh, is the payout uh, systems where uh, CUSD is our uh, first and, and primary uh, stable uh, choice. This is being uh, also a part of our roadmap for Kenya, which I'll talk to in a second. We're also building other tools and features such as a drone image implementation. Uh, in the middle, you can see our approach to gamification and community inspired by social media mechanics, challenges, and very excited also for showcasing inventory around seed and saplings. Uh, and last but not least, we're building some specific tools for agroforestry as well, which is an incredible use case for our technology. So we've deployed a few pilots. Uh, our first one was a small one in Fort Myers, Florida, 
where we understood for the first time all these different steps of the tree's life cycle. Uh, we then proceeded to uh, uh, exploring some very interesting texts, such as biodegradable QR codes for authentication and uh, verification, as well as some larger scale sapling distribution techniques, as well as uh, 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 coordinated uh, propagation and seed collection. Our biggest project, however, is in Kenya, where we're connecting hundreds of communities to Kenya's last remaining tropical rainforest, uh, namely schools and smallholder farmers. And we're super excited uh, to have developed our model there and uh, already supplied 70,000 saplings ready for the next planting season. Uh, we're looking for partners and for collaborators, such as project developers, to really grow this project and uh, make it a, an example of a bottom-up uh, citizen science-like uh, natural capital uh, project. Thank you. Thank you, Jimo. And an awesome presentation. And I know that also uh, Sylvie collaborated with uh, Ecolabs through Camp. So I uh, really, really uh, love to see that uh, already other teams have used your um, infrastructure. And I think you provide tools uh, for measuring the actual impact of, uh, of trees. And uh, um, that's super, super viable and important uh, for our ecosystem. So thank you so much um, for uh, all the work you are doing also in, uh, in reforestation and um, uh, happy to uh, see the engagement in the community around Sylvie. Thank you so much, Jimo. Thank you. So those are our 12 teams from Cello Camp. Next up, we have the winner from the Startup Pathway. The Startup Pathway, which is a program designed by Upright for new builders entering into the Cello ecosystem, provides educational resources for founders to jumpstart their ventures and Cello integration. So for our last presenter of the day, We'd like to invite up Derek from ClickSpesa, who's calling in from Kenya. Thanks so much for joining us, Derek. And this is going to be our last presentation for the day. Please stay tuned after Derek's presentation because we have a few more important announcements to share with you all. Yes. ClickSpesa, and uh, we are trying to make money and crypto simple for everyone. Now, African financial products are really underutilized with only less than 16% of uh, registered mobile accounts being active. Yet with a potential revenue of 30 billion by 2025, we see this as a ripe opportunity to enter and try to solve this problem. Now, what to uh, uh, as we do understand the need to stay financially resilient in case of any financial shocks and also to meet our goals. Now, Kenya being a, front, a frontier in payments, we understand that making and receiving payments is not enough to build financial resilience and inclusion. So our solution revolves around one platform, all things money and crypto. And what we are going to do is to also include those who are not able to access uh, data by offering a USSD channel so that we can accommodate everyone. Now we started uh, by bringing the utility of Roscast Web3 and now Wanjiku, a food vendor here in Kenya can contribute to her Chama monthly and let her withdraw a lump sum to expand her business. But while she waits for her round, she can tap into our peer-to-peer -peer micro loans feature and be able to get a soft inventory loan to stock her business at her own terms. We added this feature because we realized that 68%. Can you see me back? Am I yes, back? We, we, we can see you now. Uh, sorry, sorry. This is why we really need to include the USSD feature. Data connection here is not so good. So, um, here is uh, what we have built so far. Uh, basically, it's uh, in form of a wallet, a comprehensive wallet. And now uh, when we have the loan feature, this is what I'm going to demonstrate. And when someone comes, they can view the different offers that people have put up. And these offers will have different terms. They can be able to borrow from uh, an existing offer, select a deadline that they wish to pay that loan as long as it's within the duration that is specified in the loan, and then they can initiate this loan. So uh, when you initiate the loan, uh, what our system will do, it will create a contract just specifically for that loan. And when we reload here, we can be able to see that just seven seconds ago, there was uh, this activity here. So we'll be able to see the loan has been created and the one who has offered uh, the loan can, uh, come and see that the loan is waiting for funding. So they will try to fund uh, this loan. 
And once they fund the loan, this uh, amount will be sent directly to the uh, loanees or the one who is borrowing the loan. So we expect to see some uh, funds come up on uh, this other user's uh, side. And we also expect to see uh, the user here. Okay, so we, we see that he has lent the loan. Let's see if this other person received something. Yeah, so we have seen some amount uh, entering in. So once this is done, um, the process someone can still go back. Short demo. And we think that our solution uh, will really drive social benefits over time as we seek to contribute to these four SDGs. And by supporting Wanjiku's business, we'll be contributing to food security. And later, when we start offering micro insurances, we'll be improving access to healthcare here. So we have uh, our demo hosted on Expo Go. So if you're not able to see it clearly, you can try it out yourself and give us some feedback. Now, this has been your team. We are also looking to build our team over time. So you are also allowed to reach out and also see how we, you can contribute and help us reach our goal. This has been ClickSpesa and thank you for your time. Thank you so much, Derek. And uh, you made it work. Uh, thank you for everyone for the support uh, also in the I chat in, uh, for Derek. That was a live I can't uh, demo hear from any of uh, you. So. <laughs> We could hear you. We could hear you, Derek, and it was a wonderful uh, demonstration and uh, uh, live from Kenya doing a live uh, transaction on the testnet there. So uh, awesome, awesome uh, job and work throughout uh, the uh, Startup Pathway program. And I think that under collateralized loan is a very important primitive to uh, enable um, financial inclusion. It includes both off-chain and on-chain um, infrastructure that is uh, needed. So a uh, great mission and uh, thank you so much, Derek. And I think uh, we are uh, at the end of the show. Rachel, do you wanna uh, say a few words before we uh, sure. end up? Sure, um, wow, I'm simply blown away by the presentations that we saw today and the impactful solutions. Um, all these teams are uh, working on. And after six batches, I continue to be, and I'm even more so deeply um, inspired by the community working on a mission of creating a better world, an economic system, climate for all of us. So thank you so much to all the presenters today, um, to Cell Camp as a whole, the community that was absolutely incredible and inspiring, and to the community for your support uh, of these projects and Cell Camp. So I'd like to close with just a few brief announcements. If you take a look at the bottom of the screen, you'll see the uh, Cell Camp batch of an application. Um, it's coming next spring. So if you have a great project idea that you'd like to build on Cello, we encourage you to apply already today. And you can find the link uh, down below of the screen, or you can visit us at cellcamp.com. And lastly, before we do say goodbye, the voting polls are now open, and it'll remain open for two hours following the event. Um, so again, thank you so much, everyone, for being here today. Matt and Alon, do you have anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, so Cello uh, Camp here for, for, for uh, you guys, for the founders, and we'll continue supporting our alumni. I really encourage everyone to um, continue the conversation in the Cello Forum. Um, uh, learn about the projects that they uh, presented here and also the uh, all the 30 teams that were a part of, uh, of Cello Camp uh, help out by, by giving comments, by giving feedback. And uh, thank you so much for everyone uh, who joined this, uh, uh, this call and for everyone that they presented, our mentors, um, the Cello Foundation. And uh, thank you guys uh, for, uh, for, for the support and uh, looking forward to continue the connection with all of you and have a wonderful day. Awesome. Go vote. Thanks, Go vote. Go vote. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, everybody.